Hello, it's Sarah. I'm going to share these uh, paper bags. Oh, these aren't paper bags. These are envelope mini albums. The construction of these is, I got it from Kathy Orta. She's the paper phenomenon on YouTube. And this is her envelope mini album series. So if you find her on YouTube, her tutorials are very good, very easy to follow. Um, these are just a couple of them. I've made tons of this style. I love the construction because it's like a book. It has a um, oops, a duct tape binding. Um, they're pretty sturdy too. So real quick, the envelopes, you make it like this. <clears throat> you put two envelopes back to back, <clears throat> kind of <clears throat> back to back like this so that and then you just stick their the flap <clears throat> these are the um, cards stick the flaps together so this is a page this you actually create a, another page from a piece of cardstock I didn't do that to show you but that becomes a page and it has pockets in it it's a pocket page and then this is another page so that's like your whole I think she uses about six of these her book so that's a lot of pages maybe not six I forget <clears throat> and then you take the cards because these are this is the recollections envelopes that you get at Michael's and they come with cards so you use the cards as your photo mats and you just snip off the little edge piece of the the bottom of the envelope and slide the um, card in there and that's your uh, so there's tons of as she likes to say what does she say? Not acreage. I forget what she says. But anyways, and this is your little, this is your middle piece, and this has pockets in it. I'll show you. I'll show you the mini album. Um, so she creates these and uses a hinging mechanism. So you, you cut actually like one inch strips that are um, scored and have about a quarter inch gusset so that you can, um, you have room because this does get kind of thick. So this is one I, I did. This was the Mariposa paper stack. Um, which the paper speaks for itself. You don't have to do a lot of embellishing. It's friggin' beautiful. So it's made, it has a chip cover, chip board covers, and open it up. And so here's the first page, and it has, see, that's the back of an envelope. And then inside, this is the middle page that I was telling you that you construct out of ch uh, cardstock. With the pockets so you have total look at that look, real estate she calls it real estate so you have so much room to put photos and then even on the back you could put journaling and cards and this was actually another attachment i didn't do this in all of mine but even on the the uh card portion that you stick in here she she made pockets so that's an option i didn't do it on all of mine because it, it's like there is so much real estate anyway as she says so that's like one section. Then we do it again. So you have an envelope with a pocket, the middle section that you construct out of um, cardstock with other pockets. This paper is so pretty. And then your back page, which I did it again. So I don't think I have this on my once upon a time one, but that again, it's like another photo mats. Oh my gosh, huge. This is um, like five by, what size is these, are these cards? These are four and a half by like six and a quarter. I don't know, four, four and three quarters by six and a quarter. So, I mean, these are huge. So I figured I'd just show you real quick. Again, the paper speaks for itself. There's not a lot of embellishing going on. Just, um, this actually is open at the, hey, get back in there. This is open at the bottom. So what she does is you cut a piece of cardstock and you make this to cover, to close the bottom, and then you have this little extra place to stick your journaling or whatever, like right in here. So that's how she does that. Um, her, her tutorials are awesome. Um, and then she go, she actually goes through the whole binding thing as well to um, <clears throat> make your um, duct tape binding. This is my once upon a time one. She talks about, she had a, like a chain on her original one. She had a chain that went and like clipped here, but I actually just used ribbon. I did do a chain one. I think I gave that to my niece, but like she put um, a hole here and then you have, I, I just put a little dangle and this is the once upon a time stack by die cuts with a view. And again, the paper speaks for itself. You don't need to do much. It's just 
the gorgeous paper that you get to see. So, um, looks like my, my battery might be dying. But, uh, if you haven't, I know pretty much everybody has seen, um, a lot of times I'm one of the last ones to discover these people. But, <laughs> see, I didn't do the, um, the extra pockets on the, um, cards all the time. See, you just, I just love the paper. It just speaks for itself. You don't have to do anything. And I just keep them plain for right now. And then if I want to give it as a gift or if I, you know, if I know who it's going to, I can add whatever, um other embellishments I want to add so this is the that one I think I put like a clock on the front put a key on the back I mean the, and you can use any size now this is the um these are smaller four and a quarter by six so I did that too and then there's even the tiny little envelopes look at this this is tiny but it's the same construction. It's back-to-back -back envelopes, a little tiny envelopes, and then you construct this middle piece out of your cardstock. Same thing. I have two tags in here, and the same thing on the bottom. There's a little place for to put some journaling or whatever, a little ticket. And I mean, but so cute. And then the I just left these plain with polka dots for um, photo mats, but this would be great for like little kids pictures, like those little school pictures or whatever. I mean, it's so cute. Like this is little, I didn't do much to it. Just a little bling and a ribbon and it says inspire. So try it, Kathy Orta, Paper Phenomenon. She's phenomenal. <laughs> and uh, I hope everybody's having a really great day. Bye.